Greetings, gentle viewers. And howdy, howdy. Is today the day? The day that the next murder happens? These days have been going by really fast. Yes, because the game's been kind of just schlooping us around everywhere, as opposed to- Schlooping? <laughs> Do not question my words. Does that mean messy and gross? Maybe. Does it mean like oozing? I, uh, it just depends on the kind of thing. Don't look, don't focus on the unimportant things. Well, what are you saying? I don't understand the word. <laughs> the game has been kind of quickly and rapidly moving us around from place to place. Isn't that the opposite of slooping? Well, I mean, don't, don't worry too much about the words I'm using. Worry about the words you're using. Okay, I will. Go on. <laughs> anyway, the game's been slooping us around from place to place rapidly. And so we haven't been, uh, spending as much time running around, so... And events have been progressing fairly quickly, too. Slooping? Speaking of slooping, we're the Bittersweet Gamers. Right, uh, I'm the Opinionator. And I'm We Square. And this is Kokichi, and that's who we're gonna do the free time event with, because, well, we might not get that many more chances. Oh? Because I doubt that we'll be able to hang out with him once really important things have happened. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, so? What are you here for today? Did you come to beg for your life? Um. Are you serious about killing me? Or someone? <laughs> All yeah. of us? Yep, of course. Since I'm the ultimate supreme leader, duh. I swore on my own title that I would protect my organization. That's why you must die. <laughs> no, Shuichi, I expect you to die. Trapdoor opens up. <laughs> uh huh. Am I a threat to your organization or. I can't tell if he's serious. <laughs> he really might be. Hey, hey! Well, do it already! Get on the ground and beg like a dog! No, 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 you're thinking of Miyu. She's into that. Oh, yeah, she'd really enjoy that, which is probably why he wouldn't do it. <laughs> of course, this reminds me of the all-time great line from Suikoden 2. Get on the ground and act like a pig. Uh, Die, pig! Uh, Jesus. Talk about evil supreme overlord. Yeah! Ooh, I want to see you slit your stomach, too. Come on, do it, pretty please. I promise to get you medical help before you die. Oh, well, when you talk like that, no. <laughs> Wait. If I did that, I'd die. Man. <sighs> Guess I couldn't trick you. Boring. All right. Okay, how about this? If you want to live... You gotta beat me in a game. Is it rock, paper, scissors? Because that would be pretty fitting for the gift we gave him. <laughs> huh? A game? Yeah. I didn't give you much of a choice, but listen. This is your only chance to survive. What kind of game? Remember, you came to me, Shuichi. <laughs> you decided you wanted to hang out. You know what that means. So you can't complain. Yeah, I like, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Nah. That's, well. Well, you see, I put this collar around your neck and challenge you to like, go and get the key for it. And it's got like a reverse bear trap wired to your jaw. So when the timer runs out and you haven't unlocked it, it rips your jaw. That sounds horrible. What's that from? Saw. Oh, okay. That sounds very bad. Russian roulette, but with a bullet in every chamber. You go first. Okay, points it at him, bang! <laughs> Wait! What? I die for sure! Uh... Well, you never know. The bullet could get jammed. Are you making a reference to a previous no. Dongon game? Revolvers don't jam. You got me! Oh, I <laughs> guess you knew that already. This conversation is going nowhere. I am not playing Russian roulette. I will not get on my knees and beg like a dog. This is gonna make us friends. <laughs> How boring. Yeah, fine, fine. Jeez, you're being pretty picky for someone who's about to be killed here. All right! Ah! You gotta play. You knew it was coming, Billy. Uh, yes. You knew it was coming. <laughs> A shadow game! 
It's time to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Did I do it right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yes, the loser's soul will get sent to the Shadow Realm. Do you have a Millennium piece or an item? All right! We each pull ah, one card yes. from this deck, and whoever has the largest number wins! Excellent! Going old school! In the original manga of Yu-Gi-Oh!, dual monsters was not a thing until much later. Yu-Gi, the protagonist, would challenge rather terrible people to kind of games he made up on the spot, and if they lost, which they often did by giving in to their own dark, dark, darkness, then they basically admit defeat and their soul gets sent, not sent to the Shadow Realm, but they have to play a penalty game, which is like a personalized hallucination that kind of punishes them for their uh, sins, so to speak. Okay. And that, that was one of them. Oh, just that simple, huh? Well, it depends on what's at hand, but yes. Where'd you get those cards from? Really? That's your concern? There's a warehouse right over there. Well, it's a few floors down. Well, still. You get it? It's my turn. I draw a card. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the heart of the cards is strong within me. Uh, I'm just gonna pull land every turn, I know it. No, 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 that's the wrong game. I drew the number seven. It is neither high nor low. The possibility of you winning drops to 50%. Kokichi's in an odd mood. I wonder what's going on. Uh, I should have kept up more with children's anime. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> I end my turn. Now it's your turn! I play my fist in attack mode. Bap! <laughs> Draw your card and unleash your attack! Then... Uh, okay. Oh, a seven. <laughs> uh, what? How can this be? You drew the Monster Reborn card! Okay, okay, okay. I think you're overselling it here at this point. Man, why are they really going into this? Yeah! Thing? Why don't they go into some of the other references so deep? Uh, maybe it's a voice <laughs> actor thing? Uh, I, you know, I've never seen any Yu-Gi-Oh at all, so I don't know if Yamaguchi Kape is in it. He might be. I've only ever seen the dub, so I couldn't tell you either. <laughs> you truly are an amazing duelist, Shuichi. You aimed for a tie instead. <laughs> You intrigue me. Uh, it, yeah, I, I aimed for it. Uh-huh. I wouldn't say I did that intentionally, but... But... But this is the end for you. I'd let you live only if you had beaten me. Prepare to die. <laughs> you only have three events left in your life, so you better entertain me until then. <laughs> three events? What three events? This reference has gotten in way too deep. Friendship fragment obtained. I return to my room, mind and body exhausted. Kokichi, are you just toying with me? A toy? Playing around? Why would you do that? Me not understand. <laughs> Mind crush. Ho ho. And for what is surely going to be the last free time event of the chapter, Kibo. Not Kibo. By the way, I noticed that Miu seems to have shut herself inside the computer room. And thus, here we go. Because it's very likely that she gon' die. Now, I don't really think that that's necessarily the best reason to pick her. We have, because of the Kaede thing and the fewer events in the earlier chapters, like, the first chapter in the other games gave you a lot of them, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it just seems like we haven't really gotten to do very many of any of them. Yeah. So we're just gonna basically be saving them all for the compilation at the end, it seems like, so. 
Well, that's how the cookie crumbles. Now, most of them would be saved anyway, but... Just due to the nature of the game. Oh, well, whatever, Mew. Move. <laughs> almost, almost there. You know, I'm having reservations. <laughs> I'm in a fan-fucking-tastic mood today, too. Hmm. <sighs> sure looks that way. Okay, lay it on me. What? Hey, hey, why the grumpy face? Because you're insufferable. <laughs> no, you're all plugged up. It's huh? good that you admit that you're insufferable. <laughs> then let me give you something to get things moving. <laughs> Is this what we're going to be talking about? I, I, uh... Why is Miu in such a good mood? Especially considering that in the current part of the game, she's sort of losing her mind and disintegrating. This is creepy. Hey! Uh, I know. It's just because she's talking about poop. Come, Shuichi, to my research lab! Completely ignoring my confusion, Miu headed to her lab. Within proximity of the bad, of the dirty joke punching glove. Well then. Now, let's get started. Uh, um. Started? Start what? Th that is exit only. <laughs> Nothing enters. <laughs> Clean the shit out of your ears, Pooichi. Oh my god, stop talking about your poop. No one cares. No one cares. Come on. Tell me about the shit in your ears, Pooichi. You know, the poo in Pooichi is even worse. Yeah. Uh, 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 I feel unsafe. <laughs> that being said, feast your eyes on the latest invention from the genius inventor, Miu Iruma. Miu showed me. Are these sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses. These have built-in erotic animations. Okay, so in other words, it's the worst possible invention that could be made. Uh, yeah. Because it's not like we don't already spend too much time with screens. This, this is just like, you need more porn. The amount of porn you've been exposed to isn't enough. You uh, need yeah. to be even more. This is just the worst thing. Movies appear behind the lenses so you can watch dirty movies anytime, anywhere. Are there other kinds of movies programmed into these glasses? Why the hell would anybody want to watch that? Oh, well, I indeed. <laughs> As a bonus, I included a video of me. Miu, that's really creepy. Hoo-ya! Here, use this too. I bet this will get your blood moving. Uh, um... What is this? <laughs> I feel unsafe. You know... It's a recording of my moans. All I have to do is insult you and I can get that for free. <laughs> huh? I don't feel comfortable discussing this with other people. On your knees. I recorded a voice sample for you. You're welcome. Wait a minute. So the sunglasses don't have a speaker? <laughs> a virgin like you would never have the chance to hear this voice. <laughs> he like reaches behind him and picks up like Kokichi and Kokichi calls her like a cum dumpster or something and she just moans right there. Is this grounds to file a sexual harassment complaint? Maybe if we had an HR department! I feel unsafe! Listen up! I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it all. Just put it to good use, okay? Everything in the box Miu gave me was clearly for that purpose. Out of my way! Be happy! I made all this stuff for you! Huh? For me? Sure. Don't men need this kind of stuff? You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up. Ah, uh, uh, the other kind of plugged up. Ah. Uh, it's uh, weird to be handed this stuff out of nowhere, whether I need it or not. Besides, as a teenager, it's... Yeah, no, no, just don't. Red. 
Right. Okay. I am a bit taken aback by how nice Miyu is being, though. Is she? No, she is. It's just... Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh... <laughs> See? Being honest ain't so bad, now is it? She just walks outside with the box, drops it in front of an exosol as it's walking, and he just steps on it. <laughs> I like how honest you are, since it's you. Sure. I guess I can share my secret with you. Oh, no. Huh? Your secret. I'll listen, but no more inventions. That won't work. No, you're right. Okay, fine. Okay. What? What? Really? You'll hear my secret? You just handed me a box full of porn about yourself. It's a little late to be getting bashful. <laughs> Why is she being shy? Billy just said it. Hoo-yah! All right, that's a great attitude. Now we're talking. Yes, we are, unfortunately. <laughs> we'll work out the details later. Uh, okay. Huh? Wait, what? What was the secret? Uh, okay. What? Is it that you're a virgin? No duh! We know that! Miu was clearly in a very good mood as I returned to my room. Okay, so <laughs> Maki can never be allowed in my room as long as I keep this stuff here, so I'm gonna have to have them be destroyed. Put it on the shelf with the Monokuma dolls. No one will ever look over there. Hey, that's a good idea. Anyway! Nighttime and the doorbell. Is it Kaito or Maki looking for me? Uh-oh. Oh, it always does this at night, David. This is the fake out. One of these days, the fake out. Oh, I know. I know one of these days it is going to be legit. To be fair, we can hang out with everybody just then, though, so it couldn't. Yeah, I don't think so. Nothing could have happened yet. No, we have to find out whatever it is that Kokichi is doing to mix his quote-unquote motive with the Neo World program or yeah. some such. Our guys. Hey, Puichi! What a weird timing, right? Right? After she gave us a box full of porn of her. Hey there, Puichi. Long time no see. I just wanted to make sure you didn't throw away all those toys I gave you, because I bet you wanted to do that, because you're such a fucking virgin. Red. Hmm. No, you don't like Puichi? Okay, what about Gooichi? Spooichi? I mean, if we have to pick, Gooichi is the least offensive. <laughs> now, whatever. Pick any nickname you want among the ones I gave you. Huh? Mio, what are you doing here? Ha! Fucking virgin! I figured me and the twins could swing by and pay your virgin ass a visit. Got a boner yet? I mean, if she wasn't talking about poo all the time, while spitting and being aggressive, you know, it could work. Yes. However, she does do hey. all those things. What are you doing here? Are you here to tell me the secret that you said that you would tell me, but then didn't tell me when I said I would hear it? No. Ah. What am I doing here? Ah! Cheer up! Thanks to me, you get to leave this confining place. Yeah, I'm really thinking she's going to be the victim, actually. Yeah. Of course, we had no idea when we did the predictions. Right, right, right. Well, that the... was the point of doing it at the beginning before we have information. Right, but now it sure looks like this. Should be the last girl to go. Yeah. Huh? We can escape? Booyah! Just come to the computer room on the fourth floor of the academy. But there's no rush, so if you want to rub one out while you think about me... You got time. <laughs> but you better bring the crusty tissues afterward. I need those. Okay. Go go away. Just just go away. Despite what she's saying, she doesn't sound all that serious. But then she never does because she's always talking about sex and poop. Well, she sounded serious once or twice. But I shouldn't just ignore her. The computer room on the fourth floor. The floor of death. <laughs> <gasps> also, we haven't gotten the nighttime announcement. Uh, that's true. That's true. 
So it's like nine o'clock, but not ten o'clock or some such. Well, for what for what all that matters anyway. Which is not really anything at all. Hmm. Huh, Himiko? What? Oh. Hello, Shuichi. Did Miyu tell you to meet up too? Okay. Yeah. So everyone got the same message? Including the crusty tissues part? Yeah, I was a little confused by that too. Hmm. She said we'd be able to get out of here, but this all smells really fishy. Okay, so what we have to do is play Danganronpa 2 in Danganronpa 3, and once we've cleared Danganronpa 2, then we can get back to Danganronpa 3. <laughs> My magical instincts are telling me to not get involved with Miu. Those are good instincts. But... But... <laughs> She might have found the only means of escape. She also might have two brain cells that finally rubbed together, but I wouldn't count on it. I think we should go, just in case. You're right. I guess you're right. Huh? Well, now what's wrong? No. I just remembered how Tenko would always grab my hand and pull me along at times like this. Would you like me to do that for you? Would you? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I can picture Tenko taking her hand and saying, I'll protect you! Mm. All right! I'll learn from Tenko and move forward! And she grabs his hand and drags him along. Oh, that'd be great! Well then, Shuichi, I'll go on ahead. You should head over soon, too. She grabs her own hand. <laughs> The thing is, is none of the characters here would have any idea about what this thing is. Yeah, yeah. Or have any misgivings. Right. Or inclination that it has nothing to do with what's actually going to go on. Hmm. I don't know. I think you could look at that and have some pretty serious misgivings just from its base appearance. It is true that if I look up at it, I would think, yeah, that's a no. <laughs> that's a no. Whatever that thing does, I don't want any part of it. It's like a mixture of Howl from like 2001 A Space Odyssey and like an Xbox. Two evils combined. <laughs> As I suspected, everyone was brought here. Well, not brought here, but everyone is here. Everyone was invited here, but no one was brought. Don't worry about it, David. It's okay. Yeah, <sighs> You're right. I just grumble, grumble, grumble. Fucking virgin! Don't act all depressed just because you didn't get to spend any alone time with me. There were also VR visors on the desks around it. Yes, I did see okay, that. Okay, just making sure. Huh? I was actually trying to count the desks to see if there were 16 of them. Ah. But it, I could only see like six or so before I just stopped counting and didn't worry about it. Yeah, plus we can't see the entire room from this angle. Do I look depressed about that to you? I mean, we did just spend some time together, didn't we? Actually... There's no way we wouldn't show up when we were told there's a chance to escape. Hmm. But I still think it smells fishy. Uh... Really? Doesn't it smell like something fun is gonna happen instead? No. Jeez. You always seem to show up for stuff like this. I've got you figured out. No, I really don't think you do. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. The key to a mutual <laughs> friendship is understanding each other. I can't wait to take you training. All right already. So, what's this way for getting out of here? Hmm. Is there really a way? Sure. Dolly, of course there is. Geniuses like me never make mistakes. Hey. So, how are we going to escape? Out of my way! We're going to another world! A world with no killing games and no Monokuma! Huh? Another world? What? Oh, you wanna know? Huh? Do ya? Then go outside and get hit by a truck. <laughs> no! I'll tell you if you bow to me on your knees now. What? Huh? 
Why? Didn't she say she was just going to tell us what it was anyway? Yeah, exactly. But only if we all bow to her. Okay. <laughs> when Shuichi and Kaede bowed to me, it sort of awoke something in me. There's still about three or four fetishes I don't have yet, and that reduced the number by one. Red. Fuck all y'all. Now hurry the fuck up and bow to me, you masochistic shits. Mm hmm? Huh? Shouldn't you be the one bowing down to us? What? Uh, well, you know. You want us to listen, right? <laughs> then get down on your knees and beg like a dog. Why? What the hell? Isn't that weird? Didn't we just go through this the other way around? I, that's fine. It's fine. Just move along. In the free time I, I don't care. You get it? Everyone's wasting their precious time on a worthless piece of trash like you. So you better bow down and beg. Come on. Hurry it up, you pig. Um. What? Why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okay, then. Everyone, let's go. <laughs> See a Miu. Wouldn't want to be a Miu. Wait! <laughs> um. <laughs> I want to talk about it. So... Don't just feel funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his size is more realistic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what is this? I can't remember the dude's name. Uh, Blame Knights of Sidonia. Is this his style? <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like Knights it, of Sidonia. These character designs do not fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't actually read Blame, but I'm given to understand it's pretty good. No dialogue. Huh. And there also might be a specific manga reference that I just don't have. Don't do stuff like that! Like what? Like mimic another pose from Juko! She's mimicking another Juko pose! Yeah, I know. Mm. I mean, they're evoking it very specifically. Yeah. It's not that it means anything. Just like with Nagito, they want to make you think for a minute. I'm not... Um, yeah. We did. We thought for a minute. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for her. Well, it would make sense that you would. Oh. Hey, let's at least hear her out. See? Did you hear that, Miu? Good for you. <laughs> she did, after all, bow down and beg. You get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for, you sow? Hurry up and tell us, squid breath. <laughs> yes, sir. Please forgive me. Um, so when I said another world, I was talking about this big ass computer. Huh? What, this? Pong, pong, <laughs> pong. Um, there's this device connected to the computer that you put on your head. It uploads your consciousness so you can go to a world created by a computer program, which they're possibly in at the moment anyway. Inception. Bong! What? What? A world created by a computer program? In this game series? I've never heard of such a thing! <laughs> Got it. Oh, go to understand! Ah, uh, you would. Exit is in that computer box! So we gotta break it open and go in? <laughs> ultimately, yes. The exit won't be in there, but ultimately you probably ought to break it. Yes, yes. yes. Ah! No, if you try to force your way in, you'll just destroy it. This is a sex joke, isn't it? Uh, hmm. You mean this virtual reality, right? Um. It's more than just virtual reality. It's a virtual world. A digital world. You can catch monsters there. I'm on board because your consciousness will be able to move around as if you're in the real world. Uh? Ah, it's the Matrix. I saw a movie about that sort of thing on TV when I was little. The first one is the only one worth seeing. I agree. That 
being said. All right, now let's go. Huh? Uh, what? To go? Like, to the virtual world? Sure. Yeah, let's all go together. I don't wanna. No way! <laughs> what? Why? You promised that we'd all come at the same time. Red! What? I didn't promise you anything! What are you talking about? Um, just in case, I should ask a question. What's going to happen to our consciousness when we're inside the computer? Right? Oh, so we use avatars as our new bodies to link our consciousness to the virtual world. Why? How do you know this? <laughs> you told me already. I helped her prepare our trip to the virtual world. I brought all of our seats here. In exchange, I made her tell me the reason. Besides, I can manipulate her really easily. You guys have seen that, right? Oh, that's not a big accomplishment, my friend. Uh, um... So that's what the apology was. Mm. Um, oh, what you guys talking about? What's this? Avatar? Uh, the two most financially successful movies of all time. Go to like Blue Kitty people. Which means... They're characters that will represent you while you're in the virtual world. You should pick Nekomaru, Gonta. <laughs> ah. In other words, this computer will transfer our consciousness from our bodies and shove them into avatars inside the virtual world. And then... I fucking rule! We'll have new bodies in a new world. A world without murder and monokuma. And as soon as he comes and unplugs the computer, we'll all die. <laughs> uh, um... But what happens to our real bodies? Hmm. Your body will basically be asleep for the duration. In that sense, it'll be like a dream. Aren't you anti-sleep, though? Well, don't worry about that part for now. <laughs> uh, the problem is, is who's going to feed them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were in some kind of pod or something yeah. before, so that's fine. But here, they'll just die. Yeah, exactly. Booyah! All right. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> guy bet this line was mislabeled. <laughs> no. Like I said, we're not going. It's definitely dangerous. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, donkey lips! I'm telling you, it's not fucking dangerous! You shut up, donkey tits! Say it again! No! I don't wanna! Saying that makes it sound even more dangerous! <laughs> what? What the? Am I really that untrustworthy? Yes! Listen up! Well, then you'll be relieved to know that I didn't even create this virtual world. Someone else made it, apparently. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. What? Someone else? Uh... Uh-huh. I don't know. I kind of think it would be more trustworthy if she was the one who made it. At least at that point, you'd know what it was going to be about. Yeah. All right, well, what do we got? <laughs> I am totally down to go to the virtual world. It seems interesting. Yeah, but if Kokichi utilized some sort of jigger rigging or whatever, then someone's very likely going to die from this process. Maybe Miu's going to be blamed for it. Maybe she's not the black end, but because she's the one who set this all up, they're going to try and pin it on her. Well, that'd be the best possible result for her, because then she would survive. Yeah. That reminds me. I thought something was different about this room. It has all these chairs in here now. They probably brought them in since it'll be like our bodies are sleeping. That was uncharacteristically thoughtful of Miu. Maybe as soon as we go in, we won't be able to log out. That, that was a reference for you, David. Yes, I know, David. I know. Hmm. So it separates the consciousness from the body. If that's possible, then... Nope. No. It's nothing. That That's just the ultimate form of escapism and running away. Yeah. You know, 
Can you really just separate your consciousness from your body like that? Apparently so. We're not just objects, you know? Hmm. This must be remarkable technology if it can upload our consciousness into a computer. Kibo, where is your consciousness housed? We don't talk about that. Are existential questions not allowed? They're robophobic. But... Do you even have a consciousness to send off to the virtual world, Keyboy? You're a robot. Your tin head can only mimic a human's emotions through a mechanized process. You're not even as good as Cat GPT. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So an avatar is another body, but I like this one. This body made my soul, and my soul made this body. Okay. Which means my body and soul together make me who I am. Separating them is outrageous. Wow. I, uh, yeah. I agree, Himiko, well said. Of course, in the world of Danganronpa, this question has already been answered in the previous game. Shh. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I can't let you do that, Damon. <gasps> the world in there. No killing game. No Monokuma. No. Uh, no, that's yeah. pointless. I mean, it's just running away. Yeah, and like you said, they freaking die of starvation out here. Um, hey, Miyu. Who made the virtual world, and how long ago was it made? I'm so glad you asked! Leave it to Monokuma! That's right! It was me! Ah, so this is a different system. Fair enough, but that means that he made all the parameters. Correct! Now, and that definitely means we shouldn't trust it. Now, who is this? It very well could be an AI Monokuma for once. That's true. That's true. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, they're here too, I guess. Oh, I guess he really did remember. Daddy! Oh, Daddy, you really can't do anything! Um... Huh? Daddy, I only remembered my lines in the scripted melodrama. Which one of these people is my daddy? Uh. Father! <laughs> oh. It's that guy! Oh, He's no. mechanical! He's my daddy! Please stop! No, I am not! Let me explain! No then! Allow me to explain! I know my daddy is black and white! He's black and white! I, uh, I suppose that makes sense! I used a certain program as a template to create the virtual world! Da, 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 da. And that program is... The Killing Game Simulator! The Killing Game Simulator, you say? <laughs> so the one we're in right now? Oh no, not that one! I mean, um... Aren't we? No, what are you talking about? No, really, aren't we in this? That's what everything seems to point to, yes. This is the way that we can have repeated killing games. Yeah, and bring people back from the dead. Uh-huh. What? Killing game simulator? Yeah. Well, um, with that, I've made up my mind. I definitely won't go in there now. Wait! Whoa, 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 wait, I said wait, damn it! You can't! If Monokuma made it, it's dangerous for sure. I, I, I pulled an all-nighter investigating it, and I deleted everything dangerous from it. It's definitely safe, I swear. Right? There's no need to worry. It's just a simulator, right? Didn't you play Danganronpa 2? Nobody actually died in the end, even though they said everyone was supposed to. <laughs> They just came back at the end of the anime without anybody blinking an eye. So you'll definitely be safe when you die in there. <laughs> well, uh, uh, no, this is Monokuma we're talking about. It may not even be a real simulator. Dong, dong, dong. Daddy's right. Eh? 
Hey, whose side are you on? I'm on the side of my black and white daddy. <laughs> hmm. That's wrong. I am not your daddy. Nobody loves me. You. Oh, <laughs> why not accept him as your child for now? Incomprehensible. For now? I can't play along. He's not even my child. Daddy, don't you love me? Please acknowledge the fruits of your love, your wild oats. I have oats that are neither wild nor... I don't know where I was going with this. Shut up. You know... You guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. It's a big, giant porn game. All that's everywhere are boobs and... Why is everyone walking away? But once you go, you'll understand. What's the problem? Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then... You're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. Come with me! So let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. But. But it's a world that Monokuma created, right? Just the tip is fine! If you don't wanna dive in, you can just dip the tip. Hey! The tip of what? Red! By the way. But you just said you pulled an all-nighter adjusting everything, right, Mew? So that means it was originally a killing game simulator, but not anymore, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. I mean, what about fists and feet, right? Mommy! That's what a good mommy would do. What? Okay, hold on. This virtual world is a world that Monokuma created. Miu is here saying that she had a hand in it. Monotaro is now being calling Miu mommy. There's just an awful lot of like trying to draw some comparisons with Miu and Junko and I don't like it. Well, I'm not sure I would entirely agree with everything that you just said, <laughs> but you are kind of right about that. M mommy Yes. Oh, here's another fetish I'm acquired. Red! What's this weird sensation in my chest? Is this what it feels like to be a mom? But um How exciting! Hey, let's trust me you. We should trust in our friends more anyway! Why? <laughs> Why are you on Mew's side? Nuh-uh. I'm not taking her side, but it's like I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. Then, when we leave, one of us here will be dead. Hold on, what was that last part? I have a feeling we'll find something in that world. Now the part what after that. Something? Hmm. I mean, Monokuma created this world, right? Maybe he laid a bait to lure us in. <laughs> like a super duper crazy secret hidden in that world. Uh, um. A secret? <laughs> well, Monokuma, did you prepare some sort of bait for us? Huh? Oh, uh, bait? Y yeah, of course I have. You, you, you can trust me. Hmm. Huh? Really? This is the first I've heard of this. Okay. Me too. Although admittedly, if I would have heard anything about it, there's a pretty much guaranteed chance I'd have forgotten by... I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> yes. Mommy's hearing this for the first time too, little boy. Ah. She accepted him? Yeah, yeah! Like Kokichi said, there's a crazy secret hidden somewhere in the virtual world. It's the secret of the outside world! Huh? The secret of the outside world? Yeah! All I can tell you about the secret is that if you get your hands on it... Yay! 
You instantly learn what's happening outside of the academy. Um. Oh, hold on. What's happening outside? What are you talking about? Well, that's a pretty easy... Yeah. It's like he's saying something is going on out there, but that can't be, right? Hmm. You think it has to do with those meteorites? <laughs> it is your curiosity beat? Then you have no choice but to go. Right? Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. Uh, um... Kokichi, what's going on here? Did you know about this all along? That Monokuma is hiding a secret in the virtual world? Well, that's... Don't joke around like that. It's just a hunch. Me? Collude with <laughs> Monokuma? Come on. Anyway, we can't ignore it. It's possible we might find info on the outside world. We all want to know, don't we? Maybe with that info, we could even put an end to this killing game. Maybe all we'll find is that there's nothing out there. Then what'll we do? Huh? Huh? We can end killing game? Gota, why do you so easily believe him? <laughs> In any case... What Damon mean? Go to easily believe everyone. You're right. But you've been burned by this before. You know, never mind. <laughs> Look, if they're gonna do this, I guess you could say it's a risk worth taking. Miyu stays out here. Kokichi stay... Are you sure about that? Miyu stays out here. And three other people, or four other people... Like what, stand guard? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I like you, that. You do it in shifts. Miyu doesn't get to go. The reason is, if something happens, she can work on the program. Yeah, yeah. Kokichi probably has to stay inside and can't be allowed out to, yeah. to stand guard. Yeah, yeah. That way, we don't have all of our eggs in one basket, and if something's funny, something funny is going on... We have people who can react to it. Right. Got it. Then Gota will go. Gota will go to this virtual world place. You can't! Wait, you can't! It's definitely a trap set by Monokuma! But... But if there's even a small chance that we can stop the killing game, we should take it! I heard it. Yes, that's what my inner voice is telling me. See, it's one of those guys that's flying around on a jetpack <laughs> with a camera, <laughs> and he's just flying inside. Ah, he's piloting Kibo, yeah, I he's, see. he's piloting Kibo <laughs> and acting as his inner voice. <laughs> Are you still talking about your inner voice? We're already all sick of that Atua stuff. Listen closely. As I have mentioned before, this has nothing to do with Angie's influence. Whenever I'm lost, my inner voice tells me what to do. Yeah, that's a something all right. Yeah. I have always obeyed that voice, and I will continue to do so. Hmm. Yeah, right? Yeah, but that may not be quite as good as he's thinking. It just makes this suspicious. Oh, 100%. Again, I'm going to be really lame if it just turns out that we're playing a competitive video game. <laughs> Seriously, if that happens, I'm going to get furious. We must do it. That's why I'm going to go to the virtual world. All right. Then I'm going to. Huh? You too, Kaito? Got it. Yeah. The secret of the outside world stuff worries me, but I want to check this world out. That's the only reason? Call it a man's curiosity. Uh... The idiot's at it again. Nothing bad will happen here. Shut up! B when a man loses his curiosity, he, he ages. Curiosity is what moves a man. You sound so unsure, but I'm pretty sure he meant that exactly the way he said it. Honestly, that's kind of true. Yeah! As soon as you're not curious about things... You stagnate. I remember, um, well, it was in a podcast. A person was talking about a mentor he had who was a geneticist. Uh -huh. And this geneticist who died recently in, like the, in his, in his mid-90s, uh, he was actually still going through, like, reading genetic reports... Wow. Some species literally up until his death. Wow. 
I don't care. You can stop talking now. But I guess I'll be an idiot too. Aging, come on. No, you're one of the competent ones. You need to stay out here. Huh? Wait, you're going too, Maki? What do you mean? Of course. You're coming along, right, Shuichi? And don't say no because it's dangerous. We've been in danger for a while now. Right? Well, that is true, but I'm still worried about how easily something could happen if everybody goes. My ability is to gather evidence and reveal the truth. So I can't run away from this. You're right. All right. I'll go too. You can't! But <laughs> why? It's definitely going to be dangerous! I agree. Why don't you stay out here and I still like my idea? Bleh! It's true! No matter how dangerous it gets, we just have to do it. Oh, you shut up! To find the truth! Hmm. Fine. I'll go too. Being left behind will just make me worry. Okay. Then everyone except Tsumugi is going. That sounds like a terrible plan. Wait, if everyone is going to go, I will too. I'm telling you, we need to have Miu out here in case something funny happens. Yeah. We know something funny is going to happen, even if that funny happens when you leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now everyone's going. Um. <laughs> Kokichi. <laughs> Are you planning something? Uh, doi? Well, let's all go anyway, knowing that you're planning something. That sounds like a wise idea. Well, knowing you're walking into a trap is better than not knowing you're walking into a trap. It doesn't mean that you want to walk into the trap, but... <laughs> oh, of course not. After Kaito punched me, I became a changed man. I started training, power of friendship and trust, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> relax and just trust me. Oh, yeah, that's a trustworthy face. <laughs> that being said... All right, then let's get started before you cockroaches change your damn minds. Fucking slugs! You fucking slugs! Each of you gotta grab a helmet and plant your ass in one of those seats. So we're just gonna do this with Monokuma and the cubs right here. I mean, sure! They probably aren't going to do anything. That would kind of defeat the entire point, but I still feel like that's a bad idea. Um, how do you leave? When are we going to leave? Yeah. Can it be scheduled? What happens if we can't leave? If we stay here forever, what happens to our bodies? Yeah, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Guys, come on. I mean, I realize that it's just not in vogue to go through all this, but... I understand. Okay, fine. Just saying, probably best to answer as many questions as you can. With Miu instructing us, we got in position around the computer. You see those two ports on the back of the visor? You mean this? That's where you plug in the two cords that connect you to the computer! With component audio? <laughs> God, what about HDMI? <laughs> ah, these cords. The red cord is for consciousness, and the blue cord is for memory. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? A killing game simulator, <laughs> you say? <laughs> where memory is tampered with, <laughs> is it? That appears to have happened more than once, probably with the same people, eh? Uh-huh. Surely this isn't train them up so they can solve the thing to stop the meteors or something, right? Oh, surely not. Well, that may that part may have come out of nowhere, but I'm just saying, this sure looks like Inception. Yes, it does. I could start throwing down some real fancy techno jargon, but you idiots wouldn't get it. All you need to know is those cords will cram your consciousness and memory into the virtual world. Just don't shove them into the wrong hole. And yes, that is what she said. Whatever. <laughs> okay, fine. If she said so. <laughs> so then, no which comment. ports to which ports? Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, 
and the blue memory cord in the left. What happens if you mix those up and you're saying you just put on a VR helmet and it extracts those and transmits them in? Oh yeah. How does it extract it? Well, we don't talk about that techno jargon. You idiots wouldn't understand. That's what she said. Well, if that's what she said. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? <laughs> Are you done? I'm sorry, I have no idea what came over me. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Just don't Maybe do that. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Huh. Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful not to switch the cords then. It's okay. If you just stay calm, then there won't be any problems. There will most certainly be problems. Okay, so I hold my chopsticks in my right hand, so... <laughs> uh-huh. Calm down, Himiko. You try and be calm in this situation, Sumugi! She's in the same situation. After some fiddling around, we were all hooked up to the device. Listen up! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to make sure I don't forget this. Red in the right, blue in the left. Red in the right. That part's easy to remember yeah. because of all the R's. And it's consciousness and memory, not yes. memory and consciousness. So consciousness goes first. Yes. And you can always tell which one is the right because the right is the hand that you use to hold <laughs> your chopsticks. <laughs> then you just gotta put the helmet on your head. <laughs> Finally, press the button near your temple and you'll be whisked away to the virtual world. A paradise more beautiful than the real world, where there's no murder and no Monokuma. Mm. So when Gota press button, Avatar person take Gota to virtual world place? Yes. It's gonna be called a Navi, and, <laughs> and you'll be a blue kitty. Ah. Oh, for the love of... Yeah, sure. Whatever makes sense to you. <laughs> Hmm. By the way, I tweaked your avatars to make them resemble what I believe you guys look like. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> In fact, compared to your current looks, they're a major improvement. Like everyone's just got giant boobs or something. Congrats, Himiko. You don't need to pay for expensive plastic surgery anymore. <sighs> I never wanted plastic surgery. I like my face. Jeez. <gasps> I'm still nervous about this. Shut up! You know, everybody is probably gonna look like Miu. Oh, well that would just kind of be another step forward, wouldn't it? And the whole Junko Miu, Miu thing? Oh my god! <laughs> just shut up and fucking do it already, four eyes, jeez! Got it. All right, everybody. I am unusually enthusiastic about this. Let's go! I suppose we can't ignore a chance to discover clues about the outside world. All right. Okay. Let's go. Um, could we take the Mono Cubs? Just to keep an eye on them? Yeah. Well, I... also, they might be helpful. I think you're overvaluing them a little bit, Damon. No, I think they might say something that they're not supposed to say. Ah, that's what you meant. Yes, yes, yes. See ya! I placed the helmet on my head and, after a deep breath, turned on the switch. And then... I was gonna say something about eye movement, but it turns out it kind of was. Yeah. What a lame title screen. <laughs> That's what you focused on? In an instant, we were standing in the other world. Yes. We were there. Oh my god! 
You have to see it for yourself was the name of the achievement. This is amazing. <laughs> of course, I've never played Animal Crossing, but that's not my point. Uh, um... That is what this is, right? That's what it looks like to me, yeah. This is... Hmm... So, this is the virtual world? I feel like catching fish and selling them to a raccoon. And the music. Yeah. Also, if you look at their eyes and like the lighting around their nose, it makes everyone look like there's some like there's some kind of drooling idiot <laughs> with snot just dribbling down <laughs> your yeah. face. Here, look at the next person. Seems like it, it seems like it's completely different from what we were told. Why? These graphics are really disappointing. How's this supposed to be better than the real world? I don't even have lips. <laughs> These avatars are really disappointing too. I wanted to have the face of a supermodel. I was actually looking forward to it. <laughs> hmm. I thought you said you liked your face. <laughs> hmm. I still have a robot body. I must admit, I was secretly expecting more. So you were hoping for a change, Kibo? But you know... But it feels really weird! I can move this avatar like I could my own body, right? Do you guys actually see everything first person? I hope so. It'd be really confusing otherwise. Or do you see it... From like, this angle? Yeah, like, is this the visor and that's what you're seeing? I don't know. And with this body... I don't have to worry about all that stuff. What? Did you say something, Aniki? Nothing, I'm not dying! Huh? Nah. Ah, no, 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 it's nothing, don't worry about it. Can you say that again? Not dying? Oh my god. <laughs> all right already. I want to uh, go back. Wait! That was quick. Oh, so this is the virtual world. I see, I see. I really was expecting a little bit more. <laughs> Look at small Gonta. That's amazing. And large Himiko? Yeah, well, you know, that's just how it is. Everyone's the same body size. I see. Um, I, I don't know what you call it. Like, the speed of their motion is... Uh... I, I, I don't know the term. Like, I recognize it, and I think it's amusing, but I don't know what to say about it. Like, the, it's like a different FPS. <laughs> and this is my avatar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get it now. It looks like I have empty dead eyes and snot drooling down my face. Yeah! <laughs> what? How rude. What did you do that for? Oh. Oh, so that hurt. Oh no! Oh, well, now that you mention it, I felt genuine pain just now. Wow! That's pretty impressive! If you felt pain, then that means our senses are connected. Got a minute? Our senses are connected. <laughs> this place is so great! I come here all the time. It's way better than the real world. Huh. That says something interesting about Miu, but I think I'll save it considering that we are kind of slightly over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll save the observation for a more appropriate time. Hey! What the heck are you talking about, you fraud? You promised me the, the nice body, face, or something. Actually, this is totally different from what you said. Plus, this avatar has disappointing graphics. Really? What are you expecting? Don't you find this kind of cute? <laughs> Your looks are nothing to write home about. Trust me, you look a billion times better now. In a completely desexualized world. Yeah, yeah. What was that? What? By the way. Anyway, what do you mean our senses are connected? I need an explanation. Um. Huh? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch! But... 
It means that this goes way beyond the realm of virtual reality. We are actually connected. Please stop. We get it, so stop hitting me. Hmm. No can do. Even if they are avatars, I could never hit a person. That's robophobic. Even here, I can't escape your robophobia. <sighs> How are our senses set up? Don't ignore me! Ah. <laughs> when your avatar receives any sensory input, electrical signals are sent to your brain. Your brain then interprets those signals as if it experienced that sensory input for real. So... So even if we're not really being punched, the brain senses pain because of those signals. Oh, I see. And since it won't leave any bruises, you can hit all you want. I swear to God, Kokichi. Oh, dear. That's a bully's twisted logic. Weird. Hey, why are bodies like this? This Hibiko's magic? Uh... Well, there's a lot of things going on right now, but you don't have to worry, Gonta. Uh, um... So how exactly are we supposed to find the secret of the outside world? You know... We don't even know where to start looking! That's right. First, we need to learn more about this world. Is there a map available? Ah! Yeah, I've got a map. But first, I gotta give you a quick warning about this world. Warning?! You said you removed everything dangerous! What?! Huh? A warning?! You need to be quicker on the draw with stuff like that. Huh? I'm pretty quick on the draw, but not too quick, because then you can't pull out in time. Cut it out. Shut up! I wonder what the rules for this place could be. Pay off a debt? <laughs> huh. <Whew>. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> well, I would say we are done for now, and I... Man, when we were talking about what this place might be like, and I said everybody would be Miu, I almost said maybe it'll be like a really cutesy world where everyone has not really very many features. Dang, you should have said that. I decided not to say it, and see if I say it now, then it just sounds yeah like I'm... Making it up after the fact. Right. I should have done it, man. You had one of those, too, in, like, at least one other game that we played, if not this one, where you completely called something and then didn't say it, and it was true. Yeah. yeah, like, we talked about it outside of recording, and yeah. then it happened, and I was like, oh man! Bah! So anyway, David, would you like me to go over the details of murder mystery syndrome? No! I'm not going to 